Hello, and thank you in advance for tuning in to the third episode of the I Am Project. I will talk to you at the end of the outro. Adam? Rahab? Need another bourbon? I'll take another. Another for our guest over here, please. Have you told Eva? Told her what? Don't do that. Do what? No, I haven't told her about the video. She's still upset about her visit with you. Whatever. Where's that drink? She's going to find out. Just don't talk to her and she won't find out anything. You understand? Don't talk to me like that. That heifer came to my club on her own, uninvited. Miss Rahab, your um, three o'clock appointment has arrived. Thank you. Is there something else? Well, it appears your three o'clock gave a false name. And? It's um, kind of strange. Minnie, how long have you been working here? A few years. So you realize that most of the male clientele rarely use their real name? I know. Okay. Losing the little bit of edge you thought you had? Excuse me? Do as your boss said and get me another drink. Get it yourself. I believe Rahab told you to. Why do you call yourself a minister? What the hell? Familiar place? You better find your place. Did you ever love your son? Cain? Your other son. Family business. Stay out of it. Too late. What happened that night? What night? You were there. You're confused. I saw the video footage. I know. I know my other son survived. What do you want from me? I saw you in the video. Yeah, you're not so innocent. Where is he? How should I know? I don't have time for your fucking games. Excuse me? I'm talking to you. Where is my son? Dad, what are you doing here? Hi, Kane. What's up? Have you seen your friend, um, what's his name again? Officer Jericho? Yeah. Why? You want his number? He has mine. I bet he does. That little trick? What'd she do? Nothing. Here for Aztec? Maybe. How's mom? Why? Why? You're here. That's why. Why haven't you gone to see your mother, huh? No more alcohol for you. Abram, have a seat. Can I get you a drink? Yes, um, do you have a shot of whiskey? Sure. I'll text Minnie to bring one up for you. This is, well, this is out of the ordinary for me. Thanks, Minnie. That will be all. Miss Rahab? Yes? Minnie, you have a question? Uh, no. What can, or I, I guess, um... Wondering why I'm here? Exactly. Trust when I tell you I welcome your patronage. I'm sure you've heard about what happened with my family. To be clear, Abram, I only deal with matters pertaining to my club. Oh, okay. You do have a reputation for being discreet. Yes. I'm interested in, um, becoming a member. I see. I know what, I know that you have a distinguished list. Why? I need an outlet, an escape. Say no more. I do, however, suggest you think about what you're saying. I've thought about it. All right. I'll just let Minnie know to bring in the paperwork. Yes, Miss Rahab? Can you get a set of the exclusive documents for Abram, please? Um, the exclusive? Those are for... I know what they are. I created them. What is wrong with you today? I'll pull them up here on my laptop. Good. And then that will be all for you today. Abram, here are the exclusive documents as well as the NDAs. Take your time. It's fine. I'm sure. Done. Wow. Abram, welcome. I think I'll go downstairs. Sure. I'll arrange for one of my premiums to assist you. Thank you. Reverend Jones? Abram, what brings you to, uh... <clears throat> To him here. Same reason you're here. Entertainment? <clears throat> right. 
Yes. Well, I do have some business. Uh oh. What? That's just the devil himself. Gentlemen. Brother-in-law. Ash, what brings you here? This is a gentleman's club, correct? Hey, bartender. Get me a whiskey neat. Oh, and the next round for these two gentlemen is on me. How's Jesse? She's fine. How's Sarah? Ash, I believe we have an unfinished business transaction. Have either one of you ever heard of Genesis Rehab Facility? Yo, who is it? It's me. Doors open. What you got going on in here? Setting up my t-shirt business. <laughs> I see a bunch of weed and hookahs. Exactly. Okay, man, am I missing something? Nope. Okay. Where are the t-shirts? In the box over there. There's a bunch of plain white t-shirts here. Yep. Maybe I'm not asking the right question. Who will buy plain white t-shirts? Motherfucker, people who want weed. Oh, uh, yeah. Now it's clear. Smart ass. Walk me through your process. Why? You know my background is in finance and investments. How do you get your customers? Word of mouth. How much are you charging for these plain white t-shirts? Fitty. 50 cents? Nah, motherfucker, 50 bucks. For a t-shirt with nothing on it, you're putting a design on it, right? Nope. The customer gets a t-shirt with a free bag of weed rolled in it. Do they come here or? You asking a lot of fucking questions. Well, you need some testers. Put the cash over there. Don't forget your t-shirt. Who is it? Me, Sam. Come on in and join the party. Whoa, what do we have here? <laughs> Just chilling, man. <laughs> I Glad see. Enjoy this hookah. I see. You want to hit of this? I'll pass. For now. What's with the smokers board of weed? Kane's starting a t-shirt business. <laughs> Sal, you might want to slow down on the hookah. <laughs> Kane is selling t-shirts at $50 a pop and gives a complimentary bag of weed rolled up in the t-shirt. <laughs> Sal. <laughs> Freaking brilliant, man. Sal, hey, you really need to lay off the hookah. <laughs> Yo, hey, Sal, did you go see my dad? <laughs> I did. How'd it go? He's getting my ass out of the military. Sweet. Yeah, Reverend Jones is a beast. Oh, gee. Yo, what's next? Oops, sorry. <laughs> so, what's next? Apparently, Reverend Jones has some connections with the local PD. So, you're going to be the heat? Yes, sir. Careful. Kane's right. Reverend Jones is... I know, but he's hinted at having me take care of other matters. Kane... You have a lot of weed over there. You look like you could use some. Why not? But I want to use the hookah. Only way to fly. So when do you start your new gig? Don't know, but like my man Kane here, I got some cash that'll hold me down. Oh, Sal, I almost forgot. What? Minnie wants to holler at you. Who? Remember Minnie. She works at Rahab's. Ah, yeah, yeah. Her name came up when I was talking to your dad. She said you got her digits. Don't give her nothing else. She put her number in my phone, yeah. Yo, she's feeling you. Don't do it. Uh, not my type. What? Quiet, a little shy, undercover freaky type. Oh, that's you. <laughs> You're right, you're right, you're right. Except for one thing. What? 
There's something a little off about many. Trust your gut, man. Listen, learn from my mistakes. Sam, slow down on the hookah. <laughs> the shit is the bomb, bro. <laughs> I think Sam is bomb. Yo, Minnie's just a little privileged. Privileged? She was at GW. GW University? Doing what? A student. So she dropped out? Yeah. Why? Don't know. So weird. She got into GW. That's why I call her ass privileged. Be careful, Sal. You don't have to marry the girl. Just hang out. Yeah, I know. Your dad thinks she's hiding something. Oh, he hates many. <laughs> Women like that always have secrets. You need to have some fun. I think I'll call her. Who is it? Text from Minnie. Yo, what'd she say? D don't text her back. She wants to meet for a drink. Yo, there's your opening. Done deal. You mean her at Rahab's? Yeah, later tonight. Don't let her know where you live, and don't let her know you have money. Oh, before I forget, Kane, your, your mom said hi. Hello, Dr. Thorne speaking. Dr. Thorne? Yes, Miriam. I need help. I don't know where I am. Calm down, calm down. It sounds like you're outside, correct? Yes, but I don't know how I... Describe what you see. What's around you? I see houses, big, mm -hmm. expensive houses across the street. Good, good. I hear vehicles and sirens. Yeah, there are a lot of cars. I know you're scared, but just stay with me on the phone, okay? Do you see a street address or a name? I think so. Don't step into the traffic. Okay. I, I see 16th Street. I'm sitting on the steps of a, a church at... On 16th Street. Can you see the name of the church? Yes. What is it? Touched Home Unity. I know where you are. Am I safe? You're fine. I'll be there in a few minutes. Miriam? Shiloh has been out for a while, I think. Because of the Bible? That and her business cards. Shiloh imagery. It appears that Shiloh has a branding company. How, how can that be? That's, where, that's what we're going to explore. Shiloh seems a lot stronger now. Why do you say that? I don't remember. I don't remember how I got on the steps of this church. Let's get in the car. You are correct. Shiloh has become stronger. Hmm. What? What are you thinking? Ever since I discovered that I have two other personalities. Yes, go on. I just assumed that Aztec would be the stronger one. Why? I don't know. I, I guess because she was the first one. We've arrived at my office. Let's get you inside. Have a seat. Get comfortable. Since Shiloh has been creating this life for herself... Go on. She's probably cultivating relationships, you think? That's possible. How does that make you feel? Diminished. Unimportant. Helpless. Those are strong feelings. She's winning, Dr. Thorne. Is she really? Or are you giving up? No. No. Miriam, I want to ask you a couple of questions. About your childhood. Are you fine with that? I think so. Did you go to church as a child? Yes. Did your mother force you to go to church? Yes. All the time. Was this a family event? Family? 
is that, Doc? I don't know a family. You don't know what? Miriam, you don't know... I don't know why I... She left me with him. She was a hypocrite, and he was a monster. Who? My mother. She diminished me. She made me unimportant. She made me feel helpless. Miriam, you are important. You are worthy. Miriam? Oh, there's my Bible. Shiloh? <laughs> oh, Dr. Evan Thorne. Shiloh? You seem disappointed. Not at all. Happy to see me? I was hoping to make some progress. With Mary M? What do you not want her to face? She's safe. You enjoy church? Mm, enjoy church. You always have your Bible. Why? Because the truth will set you free. That's John 8, 32. I'm impressed. With what? That I know scripture? I guess I shouldn't be, given your upbringing. My upbringing? Miriam shared how... Dr. Thorne, we shouldn't talk about my upbringing. Why not? My childhood is a non-factor. I disagree. I need to get on my way. Where? I see you have my business cards. Your childhood. Your mother. A non-factor. It is. I believe the key is locked in your childhood. Mary M. had a life after her childhood. The military. Explore that. I have a branding company to run. You've been quite busy. <laughs> My branding company acquired a major client, Dr. Thorne. Really? Who? First Lady Eva Jones. Touchstone Unity. What will you be doing for her? Rebranding her tarnished image. Interesting business you have. So, if you don't mind, I have some work to do. Are you sure... You're not trying to rebrand yourself. This session is over. We have much work to do. I'm done. Mary M is not done. I'm in charge. I say we are done. In the U.S., over 130 people die every day from an opioid overdose. This is a serious national health crisis. If you feel you may have an addiction to fentanyl or any opioid, Call 1-800-662-4357-247. Cocaine is a powerful stimulant drug that is highly addictive. Short-term effects include mental alertness, high energy, or paranoia. We see these traits in the Eva character. Marijuana, also known as weed and other names, is used in many forms. As with any, as with any drug, the effects can vary among different people. The munchies is a common or increased appetite is the most common side effect. I'm going to miss some names. I just want to like say just thank you all for being a part of this and, and taking this journey with me. And I also want to thank Craig of Metro Voice Media, who is very patient with us and bringing it off to life as well. Thank you and see you on the next episode of the I Am Project.